Brian and Story is the fix in our home series of customer stories. So we've been using our customers in our ads for the past um, almost two years now. When I re read his story in um, Agri Matters, our, our newsletter, I thought, oh gosh, that's an interesting sort of, I suppose, a blend of the sort of more traditional sort of values in Ireland and sort of a more progressive view on farming. What I liked about his story was that he has sort of taken the traditions of farming and respects those, but has also sort of taken it into a new direction in terms of the use of technology um, to help him sort of manage his herd and also, um, you know, technology in terms of his land and his grass and, and sort of the, the, the real, you know, much more progressive, I suppose, um, approach to that. And I, that's what I quite liked in terms of, you know, we would see our AIB and, you know, research would show, would show AIB has been really strong bank of the people and so he represents um, for us um, the sort of merging of you know more traditional Ireland and more modern dynamic Ireland. Game for Enton really, I give Enton a go. So I said it's definitely something different, definitely something unique in terms of any other farm. So, uh, no, no hesitations, just had to confirm it with my father and he was willing to go as well. So. A bit hesitant about the milking this morning. The milking is usually just myself and Philip in, in the pit and we, we're there to get through as quick as possible. And this morning we were breaking into different scenes. Cows were standing around, like we were two hours later than usual starting. The cows were a little bit on edge. And then you had people coming in and out as well. So we weren't too sure how everything was going to react. But uh, lucky enough, they, they behaved themselves. It went fairly smooth. So I I'm, I'm can sit back and relax now. I think it's important that we actually make the story entertaining rather than make it look like a documentary which, which can sometimes happen when we are dealing with real life people because there's not one part of any of the ads we've done the campaign that we would actually you know superimpose anything or you know make it unrealistic or, or lie or fabricate anything you know it's, it's all about the reality so I think the difficulty comes in trying to make sure we, when we are dealing directly with the reality that we do make it interesting you know so I think with, with Brian's case it was um, I mean, he's such a super guy, and he was he was so full of energy, and actually had such an interesting story. It actually made this shit really easy because we didn't really have to do much. You didn't have to think as much as we should normally on most ads, you know. He was great from the start. I mean, we literally took him to the storyboards and and showed him what we wanted to do, and we just had to make sure everything was genuine as well. I mean, because we didn't want to be saying that we we want to show you, you know, at four o'clock in the morning, uh, herding a hundred calves down the road. You know, we wanted to make sure everything he did was what he actually did in real life. So it was just a case of nearly following around the farm for a few days in the shoot, you know. It wasn't, we weren't going in there having these massive setups, you know, with great lighting and stuff. It was literally a case of following around and making sure we still got across the story and the importance of relationship by doing this. I've seen the AAP ads and uh, I really liked the way they were about the people and how the people used the product instead of just about the product, which a lot of American ads are about. So I really liked that. and. Uh, I just thought it would be nice here to come and work with a farmer on his land. The script's really good. I think AIB picked the right guy. I read the script and I said, I can't tell you one, one of my shots until I meet this guy. And I came down and spent a day with Brian walking around the farm. And he's the real thing. Okay, we're rolling, rolling. Here we go, all set. And action, Brian. I'm an agri advisor with AIB. Um, I suppose that role has, has a, a couple of functions. First of all, it's um, making sure that we are giving our agri customers the best service that we can possibly give them from a financial point of view. That involves visiting farmers, meeting with them, going through their proposals where they're looking for financed for maybe investment in maybe putting up buildings or purchasing land. Uh, in addition to that, I suppose internally inside the bank, my role is to make sure that uh, our, our staff across all the branches are aware of the issues that affect farming on a year-to-year -year basis. 
This is something completely different for us. First of all, we've never had um, a television advert, um, I suppose, targeted at our farming customers before and involving a farming customer. Um, farming is a really important sector to AIB. It's one of our most important business sectors, and that's traditionally been the case. The bank has traditionally been rooted in farming um, in terms of the, the, the historical... Um, path of the bank um, and to the, right up to this day we have a long tradition of supporting farmers. It was tough, it was tough, I mean we've got A with the weather, B with cabin season and C you know it's a family farm so you know they're running off and doing stuff between shots but I mean he, it was never a problem because these guys bent over backwards to accommodate us and they've been fantastic and uh, it just makes you more determined to make it work for them so. I hope this ad works for AIB, but I hope this ad also works for Brian. Over the camera. Unfortunately, the public image for farming is, is not is not a great one. Uh, we're kind of seen as middle-aged plus type uh, older men dressed uh, in kind of dirty mud to our ears usually, always wearing wellies, uh, hair kind of, kind of all, all up in the scruff and the mess. But um, it's it's changing, and it's it's one reason why I wanted to do this. Ad is kind of show the public that we are young professionals. We, there is young people going in, and we are making a go of it. Um, there's great opportunities in it as well. So uh, we're trying to change that around. That's what I'm trying to do with this ad as well a bit. <laughs> I'm the fifth generation of Daniels here on the farm. Farming was always something I wanted to do. Occasionally, my father would pass comment on something I do. It is a business. It comes back to management and five-year plans. I was allowed to make bold decisions. The plan is that in five years, we have 280 cows. That's where AIB comes in. The manager is very helpful. She understands where I'm coming from and where we want to go. B with AIB.